Hey y'all, it's Joe, just Joe, and today I kind of got a, um, kind of an unboxing slash first impression. If you like this type of video, please like, comment, and subscribe below, ring the bell, go all the way to the top so you're notified of my future videos, and let's get into it because I'm super excited. So I did order from Odin's Eye, and I got the uh, Norm's Eyeshadow Palette. And she looks like this on the front. It's beautiful. Then she looks like this on the back with the ingredients and everything. And it's pretty much the same. It's very textured. I really like it. It seems really luxe, if you know what I mean. And then on the back here, it says the names and where it's distributed and all of that. And then, these are the beautiful colors. And I have touched a few of them, just because I was super excited. So I got that palette. Then I got the um, mini eyeshadow palette, Erd. And she looks like that. And the inside. Is very gorgeous and of course a couple of these like I said I have touched but I couldn't help myself it was so beautiful and then I did get the spring of life highlighter which looks like this and this is the way she looks and they were all poured individually so each um highlighter is going to be different now i am going to put some of this on right now the rest of my base is already done so if you want to know what's on my face right now it's in the description below so i'm going to take some of this and grab my little mirror I do have a little highlight on from earlier, but not very much. Oh, that's beautiful. It's got a slightest blue tint to it. Oh, I love it. That is gorgeous. Oh, I love it. I just want to put it all over my face, which I pretty much did. <laughs> but that's the highlight. All right. And let's get into this eyeshadow look. I am going to use the larger palette. Again, this is what she looks like. I think I'm going to go for a blue greenish kind of deal. So, I've already used Painterly Paint Pot my mac on my eyes just get the creases out and I'm going to use this Sigma this side it's a double ended brush and the side I'm going to use is E38 and I'm going to go into this light green dazed let's see if you can there you go And we'll take it on both eyes, of course. On the outer and the inner. I think I want to do a mock halo. It's a beautiful light green. I don't know if it's going to show up on camera very well. I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. Just kind of putting a transition down for the darker color I want to use. 
so that it blends out really nicely. How have you guys been today? The ones of you that know, I did get my, today is Wednesday the 24th, I believe. I did get my ablation yesterday on Tuesday. Sadly, it didn't go great, but it doesn't mean it won't help. It just takes a couple days for me to notice, and I already, even though I'm in pain, I already can feel like the spot that they hit feeling a little bit better. An ablation is where they go in and burn the nerves that are bothering you. So, but I am glad it's over because, um, knock on wood, normally all the procedures go well. When you get as many procedures as I do, it's common for it to happen every now and then. I think this is the uh, fourth time I've had it happen since 09. So that's not bad. Then I'm going to go into outsider here, this teal color. And I'm going to do pretty much the same thing except just a little lower. And I'm using the other side of the Sigma brush, which is E54. And I want to take that right. Oh, wait, this isn't the right brush. Yeah, I need a fluffier brush than that. Mm. I'm going to take the Riffer 14. And just bring that right in the eye socket. My mirror got dirty somehow. I just cleaned it. And there is some fallout. Let's see if it'll come off. Oh, it did a little smudgy. So, you, if you use this palette, it might be a good idea to do your eyes first. Make sure to knock off all the excess. We'll leave the center open for a shimmer. As you can see, just right there, a little bit of it's still there. For those of you that are disabled and have back issues, a bunch of you probably have had ablations. I don't want my bad experience to scare you. Just I've had so many that sometimes things don't turn out the way they should. But in the end, the result will be the same. It's just that the actual procedure was uncomfortable. And I'm pretty sore from the uncomfortableness. But a couple of days of being uncomfortable... It was nothing compared to the pain that I was having. So, as long as it helps the pain, it's well worth it. Never can. My eyes are uneven, so even though it looks like the space here is the same, you can tell this one looks bigger, so it's kind of hard to in my mind, to get them to look the way I want them to. Bring this one up just a tad. There, that's better. I'm going to take that original green, and I'm just going to hold the flat in that brush I had used, and go all the way across. Sorry, I went down too far. kind of hard for me to sit up straight right now, so I promise I'm doing the best I can. But I really wanted to show this palette. Mine, unfortunately, got lost in the mail, so I know there's a bunch of reviews already out of this palette. But I still wanted to give my opinion. And I was going to put it on anyway, so I might as well 
go ahead and record it. Now I'm going back to that teal color outsider and just putting it about halfway in. I think I'm going to take it on the inner too. I'm going to take it all the way across. I really like this color. It's a really pretty color. Alright, let's see. What do we want to put in the middle? So many different colors, but I think I'm going to put hallucination here in the middle of the upper. The nose is itching. I'm just going to use my finger. Oh, that's beautiful. I love it. It's like teal with a shift of purple. I always hate that the duo and multichromes never show up on camera as beautiful as they are. I really like that. I think I'm going to put a little something light in the middle to give it a little more dimension. Um, let's go with Pink Chameleon right here. I'm just going to take the littlest amount and put it right in the center. Yeah. Just like so. Yeah, that brightens it up really nice. So I think I'm done with that. I've already put uh, my ColourPop gel liner in uh, Amethyst Hour in my waterline. So I'm going to take the Lash Discover by Maybelline because it's a skinny brush. And use it on the bottom. I like using thinner brushes on the bottom. I just can't seem to get the bigger brushes down here without making a mess. And then Pat McGrath fetishize up top. I really like this mascara. I really need to do a video with this against the other Pat McGrath. And I think that's it, guys. So as far as this palette of the, the Norm's Odin Dye palette, I really like it. So if you was thinking about getting it, I would pick it up for sure. It is so pretty. Thank you all for watching. I hope you're staying safe. I hope you're making good decisions. And I hope to see you next time. Love you guys.